So it is the first day of my vacation for a week and I thought the best way to celebrate that will be to go through some grueling torture. A 2006 MacBook in 2023. That is apparently what I'm doing in this video. As you heard in the intro, we are taking a MacBook from 2006 and we're gonna see what you can do with it in 2023. It is the first day of my vacation and apparently I've decided to become a masochist and torture myself. So hopefully you guys enjoy this. Uh, so do stick around for this because it should be interesting. This is the laptop in question. It is really dirty. It hasn't been turned on in five years. It does weigh quite a lot considering it doesn't even have a battery in it. I don't think it's had a battery in it for some time. But what we're going to do with this is to see how far we can upgrade it and see how much we can get out of it. If uh, you do have one of these laying around or for some reason you want to buy a 17 year old laptop, this is a really, really weird video, but hopefully uh, you should enjoy it and maybe there is some usefulness in it. It has lasted quite well, despite the fact that it does apparently need to be burned alive because it's so dirty that I'm worried about touching it and catching every disease from the last 30 years. Stick around and let's see what we can do with it. Oh, dear me. Since this doesn't have a battery, I have to use the power cable. I still do like the magnetic MagSafe things, it's quite good. Probably see if it turn on, oh my god, look at the state of that screen. All right, apparently it's turning on by itself, which is good, I guess. So, here we are. I guess the first thing to look at is going to be, uh, we're getting Java updates. Uh, yes, okay, let's just click X on that. Let's have a look at about this Mac and see what we're working with here. So we have a 1.83 gigahertz Core 2 Duo. Um, this is a 83 gigahertz, the X is 300 megahertz. It needs all the help it can get. A dizzying amount of RAM, four gig of 667 megahertz DDR2. Awesome. Uh, let's see what we're working with in terms of graphics. We have a Intel GMA 950 with 64 megabytes of graphics. Uh, yeah. Now, I hope you're all sitting down for this. Uh, this is going to be a real shocker to most of you. Uh, this 2006 laptop, it's going to be not awesome, uh, but, you know, we'll see what we can do with it. This is uh, what we've got. I'm going to go to show detail. Let's see what we can get in terms of updates. We've got some security updates from 2014, so that should tell you everything you need to know. But no OS update, which is to be expected. So we need to see how far we can update this via other methods. So my plan is to use some kind of uh, third party patcher. There are a few of these that exist, like Open Core, Legacy Open Core. There's one called DOS Dude also. And make some good patches. So I'm going to use those to see how far we can get the operating system to go up. That's the plan for this video anyway. And then we can kind of see what the performance is like using a patcher to upgrade it to a more newer version of Mac OS to see if that's something we can do. So I'm going to load up Safari and then we're going to see uh, what we can do with this. So the first thing to do is we need to get um, DOS Dude's patcher. So we're going to do that. So because I think that that will be the best thing. So we go to DOS Dude, and then we can use one of these patches. Oh my God, this trackpad is awful. Um, so we're going to look at, I mean, let's see if we can get Catalina. So we'll click on Catalina. Oh my God, the browser is so slow. Oh my God, it's so laggy. Oh my dear. Yeah, that's like unusable. Um, maybe on an, an older one, does that make, okay, wow, there you go, text files, it can handle text files, oh my god, this is so slow. <laughs> okay, so, uh, this is not even supported by DOS Dude, uh, which is, this is the earliest patcher. Okay, so my initial plan to use uh, DOS Dude's patcher to upgrade the laptop to a more newer version hasn't worked because even the third party patches don't support this model anymore. When you have an old computer that doesn't work uh, with a new version of an operating system like macOS or Windows, then the uh, default is to go to Linux. 
So I'm going to have to download um, a EFI uh, bootloader uh, like Refind and put it on here and see if we can load it up with another version of um, a version of Linux to make this work because right now it is so slow uh, even on the version that it is right now. So maybe if we put a lighter weight version of Linux on it, maybe you can get some use out of one of these laptops. I have a feeling that this uh, laptop is more for parts than it is for using, but we will see, we will see because maybe, maybe it'll be good. So I just wanted to show this really quickly. I was trying to get the refined bootloader and the browser is so old that it won't actually open uh, a lot of web pages because of security certificate concerns. So it doesn't actually open this website at all. So I'm going to have to use a newer computer to use my older computer. So yeah, this is going good so far. So I've got here a USB stick with refined on it. Apparently that was done quite quickly. I'm a little skeptical if I'm honest with you. So I'm going to uh, reboot the laptop into a Linux USB and see if we can install from that. So I'm going to use Linux Mint. This is not the uh, fastest uh, operating system for Linux, but it is generally quite a good um, uh, system for uh, testing out because it's got pretty good kernel support. It's fairly stable. Please show it up because otherwise this is really screwed. Uh, it doesn't show the USB stick even using Refind. Okay, I'm going to turn it off and I'm going to hold Command and R and then see uh, if we can get into the disk utility and see. It takes so long. The fan noise is quite apparent also as well. I don't know if you can hear that, but I'm gonna move the mic and then you can hear it. Mind you saying that this has not been uh, repaired or upgraded in as well since I bought it. Um, and so the thermal paste is probably gonna be like concrete now, I would imagine, or dust. Uh, I mean, it can see the USB stick, but not anything really about it. I wonder if we close that down if we can choose the startup disk from here. No, it only wants to restart into there. Okay, let's try something else. So I spent the better part of an hour uh, rebooting the laptop and I eventually did get Refind and the EFI bootloader to start up, but it just wouldn't recognize uh, quite a few USB sticks that I had. I tried three in different formats and apparently just none show up. So I tried using Linux Mint on a separate USB stick. That doesn't work. I tried using uh, my bootloader using Ventoy, which has about 10 different versions and operating systems on their various Linux distributions. And basically it doesn't recognize the USB boot. Um, so it doesn't actually show USB uh, booting as an option. So it may be a, a firmware hardware level thing on the laptop that may stop it. If everyone, if anyone does have any ideas, please do leave a comment down below. And I think I would like to revisit this topic and see if someone can come up with an idea. So if you do have an idea, drop a comment down below. I will try it out. Uh, if you have a way of getting this laptop to boot up, if you do suggest a DVD or CD, uh, I may stab myself first and then try it, but um, if it doesn't boot by USB, then that's the only option, then what are you gonna do? So uh, I do hope you enjoyed this video. The conclusion is that unless you've got some other idea, I don't know how to get a 17 year old laptop MacBook at least to actually boot into something modern. The browser is unusable. If it won't even load certain web pages, it's going to be absolutely dog crap on even YouTube and stuff like that. The specs are, I was gonna say the specs are not bad, but the specs are pretty bad. Um, but maybe with a light version of Linux, you might better do this. So uh, if you do wanna follow up on this later, then do let me know. Uh, so just subscribe to the channel, like the video, and then when I release an update to this, uh, if we come up with another solution, then uh, maybe, like I said, if you have one of these laying around, or if you're still crazy enough to want to buy one of these, uh, then maybe we can get something out of it, even upgrade it. That could be exciting. So 
but yeah otherwise uh i will see you in the next video with hopefully something that is not almost two decades old